couple of passes here, get this cleaned up and finish the chamber up and I'll be done with this project. AFR head customer sent in. Got one chamber blown up in it. You can see some of the valve seats hammered into the head deck surface area here. Gotta get those out. And get it ground and cleaned up so I can do some welding on it. Get that other seat out. Just use the little cutoff wheel, split the seat, and it'll collapse. Way to get them out. Get cleaned up here, all the carnage ground up smooth so I can put some weld on it. Where a lot of people mess up when you're trying to repair a head, you gotta get all that stuff ground however deep it needs to go to get all the carnage cleaned up where you got good clean aluminum to start with. here and I think I've about got it enough to do some welding on it. Most of these bad repairs like this one where you have to do that much welding, uh, you just about have to get them welded and rough grind everything back into shape and then go back and touch up a few spots on it. Need to do a little bit more. I think I've got that pretty well welded up good enough to 
do some rough grinding on it and see what I've got left and then maybe put some seats in it or do a little more touch up weld on it. about it and then I'll smooth it up a little bit and probably cut it for some seats all right the guides like typically when they break valves it distorts the, the guide here so you can't really drive them back to the valve spring side what I do is roll it around here roll it back over to the other side level it up here and I've got some spot facers that I use to cut the top of the guide down and drive them back towards the combustion chamber side. One thing I also do is I'll take a good guide, slide a pilot in it, uh, get a different pilot here. Okay, there we go. Take it, line it up on the same angle. So we're straight up and down. Snug it down on it by hand. Usually, just not let it stabilize, lock it down, and then we're good to go. And that just gets this nice and straight with the guide, so when you're cutting down close to the spring pocket, you're not off one angle or the other. combustion chamber side and it's not going to distort the hole and I can put a couple of new guides in it and hone them and then put some seats in it. Get it off the machine here and get those knocked out. the exhaust side cut I'll get a seat uh, drove in it and we'll cut the intake side okay we got set up here she got the exhaust seat in it kind of blended it a little bit didn't get a video of that uh, pretty standard stuff get set up here and cut the intake seat There we 
go. We have got cut for an intake seat. Okay, got the intake seat, drove in. Now I go back and kind of trim up around the combustion chamber a little bit here and hand finish it. And it will be ready to send back to the customer. intake side, get my cutter reset, and we'll do it. Change cutters. Got one that's got a little bit different angle on it. I think that would be better for that intake pocket. Okay, got a different cutter in it now. Not quite as much radius in it. I think it'll fit the chamber a little bit better here. Oh yeah. That's a lot better. whining about quitting time. It's almost quitting time. side up on it and put a surface on it and I think we'll be in good shape. Uh, <clears throat> get it off the 30 here and get set up and finish the chamber. Alright we got our set up here on the surface here. Seats are all in it. Got the radius cutter and got that <clears throat> back in it. So, Looks similar to how these are done. <clears throat> okay. Couple passes here, get this cleaned up and finish the chamber up and I'll be done with this project. All right, we got her set up here, kind of did a touch off pass. Get my tool going. Off. Uh, starting to look pretty good there. I uh, need to go in and finish polishing up the chamber and a little grinding. And it'll be ready to send back to the customer. I'll get it set up here and do some grinding and some polishing and see what it looks like then.
close up here of finished work. Y'all can see it. Turned out pretty decent. Uh, get it boxed up and shipped back to the customer. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I can keep putting out some content. Thank you very much. <laughs>